Okay, so now that we've looked at the basics of creating a door, let's look at how we would make a door with glass panels. So I'm going to cut out these beveled sections here in the door and replace them with glass. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to use the clipping tool. Okay. And I see it's off a little bit, so let's ver use vertex manipulation and bring these in until they line up. Let's check that out, do the bottom. Okay, looks good. I'm going to turn on my ignore grouping and grab the middle and do the same for the top and bottom. I'm going to do one here. Do another up here. And right there. So let's go ahead and replace these two sections with glass. See how that looks. Turn off my ignore grouping and let's edit this and go into render mode. Set it as texture with a FX amount of 100. Now, you're going to notice immediately that there's an issue. And that is, you can see through the solid part of the door. So what we'll need to do is make the glass panels as separate as a separate entity. So let's undo that, undo the render mode. And then what I'm going to do here, I'll just delete that one and we'll make it one piece of glass. And I'll make it a little bit thinner here. And then I'm going to set this as its own door. So with the glass panel selected, I'm going to click to world. When we turn off ignore grouping, we still have this as a door. This is now just a regular brush. So I'm going to set that back to door. And I'm going to make sure that I have the delay set the same. And the speed's going to be the same, and the flags should be the same. Now I can now I can set the glass back to texture for render mode with 100 effects, and we should see something like that. But what's going to happen is these are going to move independently of each other. So what I want to do is give this glass door a name, and I'm going to say it can be anything at all, glass door. I'm going to copy that name. And what we could do is have this target field target the glass portion like this. But that's not going to work exactly like I want it to because there's going to be a delay. So I'm going to give the solid door the same exact name. And we're going to have something trigger both doors at the same time. Now you remember last time we looked at trigger only. We're going to, use, we're going to create a trigger multiple. So I have my trigger texture here, and I'm just going to put it right in here. I'm going to put it right in here in the doorway. Okay. That looks a little weird, but it's it should work. Okay. And what a trigger multiple does, set it to an entity, trigger multiple. It works like a trigger once, but there's going to be a delay before reset. So which means that every time the player will enter this square, it'll trigger its target, in this case, the glass door. Let's go ahead and put a delay in there. I'm going to do five seconds. So like I said, every time the player enters this square, it will target the door, but it won't trigger its target the second time until the five seconds have passed. And in this case, it's going to be triggering both of the doors at the same time. And what I'm going to do in addition, I want them to move roughly about the same speed. So 
The speed is dependent on their size. So I'm going to make it just the same length as the door, minus one unit, just so I don't see it uh, when the door opens. And we should have it. We should have them work in concert now. So let's go ahead and run the map. Okay, so now when we go up to the door, we should see them both move. And it's working just like we imagined. However, there's one issue. If I get if I get the player up on this ledge here, we see that the player blocks the door and then the door immediately closes. So we can do something to fix that. We're going to use a special texture called Clip. And what this is, is all this does is creates collision. Which, so in this case, it will prevent the player from stepping inside the door. So I'm just going to stick it right in that little zone there. I can even go all the way up here. And then what I want to do is with the clip texture selected and the outer door, I can go ahead and do press control T and it's going to say you've selected an, ex an existing entity, the funk door. Would you like to add the selected solids to the existing entity? In this case, yes. And now if I pull that out, you can see the clip is now part of the door. So let's put that back and run the map. Okay, and hopefully that should prevent us from stepping up onto this little ledge here, which it absolutely did. And that's how you make a door with a glass section. Okay, suppose we want to make a door that opens up or down. So let's see if we can find some doors like that. We have this big gate here that we see at the beginning of Anomalous Materials, and we're going to build a door over here. Change my grid settings. There we go. And let's see how that looks. Zoom in. Okay. I know this is going to be smaller than the doorway here, and that's fine. I want to keep the original. I want to keep the original texture size here. Instead of instead of stretching it out. Okay, and and we'll try and get it in the middle. Let's even make it a little bit thinner there. Make this doorway a little more narrow. Okay, I think I got it about right in the middle there. Let's bring this upper portion in and down. Okay, we have a block here. Let's go ahead and split this in half. Now we have two doors. Let's see if we can clean up that texture on top. There's a texture called Stripe. I'll go ahead and put that on here and on the bottom of this door. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a door for the bottom and give it a name, big door, and I'll do the same here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select both of these, and that way I can make changes to both at the same time. So let's say big door, they both have the same name. Render mode's good. Speed will keep. Let's give it a move sound this time. Let's do large rollers, a stop sound. How about chunk? Let's give it a lip of two for both of them and we'll tell them to stay open and I think that's good the only thing we need to change independent of, independently of these is the direction so if you remember 
This controls which direction in the top view we want it to move. So we're going to keep this second number here, the yaw, zero. But what we'll need to do is change the pitch. Okay, and for, we want this one to move up. So we'll set the pitch to 270. And we want this one to move down. So we'll set the pitch to 90. And that's all you need to know about that. Let's go ahead and do another trigger multiple. We'll stick it right in that doorway there. Create entity. Let's find trigger. And since my door is going to stay open, I'm just going to do trigger once. I'm going to have it target big door. Okay. Let's hide this for a second. Now I'm actually going to remove the sounds. I'm going to make the top one make no sound and no stop sound because we don't need them both playing the sound. So let's go ahead and run the map and see if our up and down doors work. Okay, let's pass through our first door and try this one. Boom, and you heard the sounds and they should stay open for the remainder of the game. Okay, and that's how you make a funk door, a sliding door. And soon we'll look at how to make rotating doors and buttons. Thanks for watching.